What is up guys? Fred here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome newcomers. Today's Awakening of Chakra Bharti's top 3 cards will be about Dark States. We're going through all nations in alphabetical order so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on your favorite. As always my personal decklist will be at the end of this video and if there are any inputs you'd like to add to what we're going to cover today just let me know in the comments down below. We got 3 ride lines to cover today so with that Let's go! Let's kick things off with the master of gravity himself, Barrow Magnus. Barrow is very good, but with just a few cards, he gets even better. Let's start with our first number 3 of the day. The new common Violet Phantasm Butterfly Funju. Skill reads auto when this unit is placed on rear guard circle. If you have 5 or more units, cost counter blast 1 and soul charge 3. Then, if your soul has 10 or more cards, choose one of your vanguards and it gets power plus 5k until end of turn. Though I will not personally play her, she's a decent accelerator. I mean, on a pandemonium turn, a single copy of either Curtis or Electro Spartan and her gives you the 15. Same goes for any combination of Selfish Engraver or Swirler and her. Same thing. So to my fellow 15 souls rushers, if you feel like you have the room in your deck, Try her out. Let's move on to our number 2. The Triple R Brainwash Swirler. Skill reads auto when this unit is placed on rear guard circle, soul charge 1. Then auto on rear guard circle when your card is put into your soul by soul charge. If your vanguard is grade 3 or greater, this unit gets power plus 5k until end of turn. So plus 10k if you soul charge 2. He does count his own soul charge for the power boost, so on the Pandemonium Tactics turn again, this guy becomes a 33k by himself, no personas or anything. Yes! So it's a potentially huge beatstick that hits magic numbers and a card that provides the resources that this deck desperately wants. And I mean, he's pretty badass. And let's end this one on our top 1 card. The Double R Cutting Sword Dance Chegra. Skill reads auto when this unit is placed on rearguard circle. Perform all of the effects below according to the number of cards in your soul. 7 or more, cost, counter blast 1 and discard a card from your hand. Choose a card from your soul, put it into your hand and soul charge 1. Then 13 or more, all of your front row units get power plus 5k until end of turn. Well, it looks like extraction has been laid to rest. This card is just so versatile. It is indeed an extraction that comes with a body and that activates when placed from anywhere, which means that it activates when placed from barrel skill during a battle phase. So that way, depending on the situation you're in, you can go and pick up from your soul PGs, your over trigger that you are unfortunately soul charge, or even your persona right for the next turn. And as this particular skill is only when you have the 7 soul threshold, you can play it and go get from your soul a missing piece for to reach your 15 threshold. It all depends on what you have in hand and where the game is at. Toolboxing is mwah. And we haven't talked about the 13 threshold yet. Basically makes a soft persona ride on your front row, making your Barrel Magnus a 28k double critical vanguard that your opponent won't be able to just scrub a wanna pass by using a trigger as a shield. Except for front trigger, sure. It's great. Get it. It is now time to talk about Bruce. But before we start, I just want to specify that we'll be talking about the new Final Rush build as the current DBD03 Final Rush build is still very, very, very viable thanks to Leonard. Let's look at our top three, shall we? The Double R Diabolus Striker Lyle. Skill reads auto when this unit is placed on rear guard circle, cost counter blast one, and this unit gets power plus 5k until end of turn. Then, if you are in final rush, soul charge 2. Choose a card from your soul and call it to an open rear guard circle. This is where the new final rush builds can differ a bit from the usual, as you'll mainly want to pick between this guy and Protoball. Aside from picking up some shield from your soul, Protoball would usually also pick up maybe a personal right copy from your soul and extend your Leonard combo turn. But the new grade 4 builds mainly don't run personal rights, so with that, it steps a little bit lower, where Lyle also toolboxes your soul butt onto the field, taking your aggro pieces out of soul. And it also pluses your soul by one, which can be helpful to achieve a mischievous double three crit vanguard attack. Honestly, either one of them is great. Which one would you pick? And now on to number two, 
brainwash Swirler. Yes, we've got to repeat because Swirler is that good. We mentioned in the Barrel Magnus build that on a Pandemonium Tactics turn, Swirler would become a 33k beater. But this time, as we can benefit from the actual Pandemonium skill, he will become a 43k guy. That swings twice. It's chunky and we like it. Moving on to an obvious number one. The Great Four, Diabolus Unrivaled Bruce. Skill reads auto on Vanguard Circle at the start of your right phase until end of turn you final rush. Then auto on Vanguard Circle once per turn at the end of the battle this unit attacked if you are in final rush. Cast Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 5. Stand all of your front row units and this unit gets drive minus 2 until end of turn. Here it is, Bruce's evolution. As I said at the beginning, DPTO3 Bruce's build is still very very good because of Leonard and this one cannot benefit Leonard as it doesn't have the specified name. But this new one is pretty spicy as it may not have Leonard but instead of having 5 guaranteed attacks it has 6 this time and I just love when you have more possibilities and this one can get pretty spicy with a <laughs> combo that would grant you a double vanguard swing on 3 criticals <laughs> seems like you wants a quick display to showcase it why not? Combo's pretty simple as you'll only need two cards aside from our new grade 4. You'll want to play Pandemonium Tactics first while on 13 souls to get the extra crit to Bruce and then simply call the DBT-03 Brian to rearguard circle and give another critical to Bruce while pumping your front row by an additional 5k power. There you go, just gotta build up a soul. So yeah, the usual Leonard build or the new unrivaled Bruce. Which one will you pick? And on to our final ride line of the day, Mr. Greta. Our most recent ride lines get their first wave of support aside from their own set. So, I'm excited. Let's go. Number 3 time, Cutting Sword Dance Chegra. And yet another repeat, as Greedon's pretty much figured out with the following two cards only, but this one can be a spicy tech. A thing that's not talked about much is how Chegra doesn't really ask for Barrow as a Vanguard. If you feel like you got some space to play a few copies of him, then it'll just add some consistency. As you'll reach the 7 soul threshold on your second grade 3 turn, he'll allow you to recycle some shields, over triggers you unfortunately soul charge, or your combo pieces. That way you can go on your optimal play every single turn. And let's look at our number 2. The Double R Desire Devil Cannon. Skill reads auto when this unit is placed on rearguard circle. During your main phase, cost counter blast 1, look at the top card of your deck and call it to rearguard circle. At the end of that turn, retire that called unit. Cannon comes to the party with a dessert for greed on the E. It pluses one. And you need it. That's it. And let's finish it on our number one card. The Triple R Desire Devil Bubitsu. Skill reads auto on rearguard circle once per turn. When your other rearguard is put into your soul by your vanguard's ability during your turn, cost counter best 1, choose a card from your hand, call it to an open rearguard circle, and if your soul has 10 or more cards, draw a card. May be used even if this unit is put into your soul at the same time as other units. It's an attack extender that refunds the card you called from hand. It's great, it can disrupt your opening a bit as he won't know what you'll call from hand. This guy has been designed for greed on, and he's great. Well, that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. As usual, my personal release day decklist are just coming up. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.